You, you stand? Damn, is you the landlord or something? <laughs> Bad news for all the fans of FX's Atlanta out there, and I do know that there are a gazillion of you because let's be real, Donald Glover is the greatest. FX chief John Landgraf revealed at the Television Critics Association Winter Press Tour on Monday morning that the critically acclaimed series is behind schedule. When the network renewed Atlanta for a third season last June, it was expected to return in 2019, but sadly, that is no longer possible. Landgraf said, I don't know whether we'll have Atlanta or not. The writers are back working right now, thank God. If you want to see me cry, you can just come backstage. PR boss John Solberg has confirmed that the series will not be ready in time for this Emmy cycle, which means that a path has been cleared for other strong contenders, including Barry, The Marvel's Mrs. Maisel, and the final season of Veep. Glover has described Atlanta as a passion project of his, and the show has previously won two Emmys, two Golden Globes, and a Peabody Award, on top of being a steady performer for the FX network. Landgraf explained the delay further, saying, as you might imagine, Donald Glover is sort of the king of all media, and he just has had an incredibly complicated life. So I think one of the things that is just a reality of television today is you have to wait. From my standpoint, I wish for all the fans, as well as for us, that we could get everything back on an annual basis, but again, you just have to make a decision about quantity over quality at a certain point, and we're just erring on the side of quality. For his part, Glover just wrapped his fifth and final tour under his stage name Childish Gambino. The This Is America tour wrapped in LA on December 17th, and Glover made the announcement during that gig that his father had passed away, saying, I lost my father a couple of weeks ago, and I wanted to play him some of the new songs, but he didn't want to hear them because he was like, I know they're going to be great. Meanwhile, the rest of the cast are pretty busy themselves. Brian Terry Henry had roles in If Beale Street Could Talk and Widows. Lakeith Stanfield appeared in Sorry to Bother You and The Girl in the Spider's Web. And Zazie Beetz had turns in Deadpool 2 and will be seen in the upcoming Steven Soderbergh film High Flying Bird. To read more on this story, head to THR.com. For the Hollywood Reporter News, I am Lindsay Rodriguez.